Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Payments window is used to select and pay individual vendors. To access the Payments window, you can select Tasks from the menu bar and then choose the Payments command. You can use this window to enter purchases which have been made from vendors that do not have an associated bill, or you can use it to apply payments to vendor bills that have been entered through the Purchases Receive Inventory screen. When a vendor ID is selected in the Payments window, all unpaid bills associated with that vendor appear on the Apply to Invoices tab below. For unpaid vendor bills, you can choose to pay the entire amount of the vendor bill or make a partial payment on any vendor bill. You can also apply prepayments and credit memos in this window as well. So first select either Vendor ID or Customer ID from the drop-down field of the same name, and then select the Vendor ID of the vendor or customer to whom you are issuing the check from the drop-down list right next to it. To enter a payment to a vendor who is not in your vendor list, you would choose to leave this field blank and then instead type the vendor's name into the Pay to the Order of field. You would only choose a Customer ID from the drop-down in order to issue a Customer Refund check. Next, you would then enter the check number used to pay this vendor or a vendor bill into the text box of the same name if the check has already been issued. You will leave it blank if you plan to print the payment checks through Peachtree as the number will be assigned during the print routine. Also note the Recur button in the toolbar at the top of the window. You can click this button to set any payments which you make to recur in this and in future time periods by selecting the frequency with which to automatically have this payment recur in the Create Recurring Journal Entries dialog box. Once you've set the payment frequency, simply click OK to create the future payments in Peachtree. So this can be a handy time saver for bills which you have to pay on a set schedule with the same amount to the same vendor. Next you would enter the date that the payment check was created in the date field. The total cash balance after you pay the selected invoices or payments will display in the cash account balance field. If it says uncalculated in the cash account balance field, you can click the recalculate button to the right to display the correct total balance. You can also enter in the general ledger account from which the check will be written in the cash account field. You would then select the Apply to Expenses tab to enter payments to vendors that are not associated with any outstanding invoices or purchases. Use this to enter payments that do not involve bills and cash purchases. When a vendor without any invoices is selected, this tab automatically appears. You can check the Prepayment box to create a prepayment, which can later be applied to one or more invoices for the selected vendor on the Apply to Invoices tab. You can also enter the number of items being purchased in the item field. This should bring up the description and general ledger account if the item is in your inventory. If not, you can also change both here. You may need to do the same with the unit price field if it's incorrect as well. Now if you are purchasing an item not tracked in inventory, enter the total price of the item in the amount field. You choose the Apply to Invoices tab to make payments against open vendor invoices. This tab will automatically appear when you select a vendor with whom you have one or more outstanding invoices. On this tab you'll see the invoice, the due date, and the amount due. You can enter a description for each invoice in the description field if desired. If you qualify for a discount with the vendor, the amount will be displayed here as well. You cannot take a discount on a partial payment, however. You can also enter in the amount paid to the invoice in this field, or you can simply check the checkbox for pay to pay the selected invoices in full. When all invoices included on a check are selected, you can then click the Print button on the toolbar at the top of the window to print up the disbursement check, or you can simply click the Save button and then print the check later. Note that if you had selected a customer ID instead of a vendor ID when you entered this window, the Apply to Customer Account tab appears at the bottom instead. You can use this tab to record customer refunds. Once again, 
Click the Save button once you're finished doing data entry within the Payments window. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.